Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Riri and I love powder foundations. This is going to be my foundation collection. Um, if it does not run too long, I will also do concealers in this particular video, but this is um, the start to my entire makeup slash beauty collection. So we are going to jump right in. Um, first and foremost, these two right here from IT Cosmetics, technically it just says that they're CC powders, um, but because it says sheer to full coverage, I use them as foundations and I love them. Um, so I'm going to actually put this over here with this. First up is my IT Cosmetics, um, Your Skin But Better CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder. This is the Illumination one, and this is in the shade Medium. Um, I literally used this all summer long, <laughs> as you can tell, um, and I have hit pan on it, and it is something that I absolutely love. I don't like to put, like, you know, spraying SPF or anything on my skin um, when we were in the pool all summer long, so I literally would just put moisturizer on and then let the moisturizer set and then pretty much cake this all over my face. Um, but they are very, very soft. The coverage is beautiful on these. You can definitely build them up to the coverage that you want to have. It says sheer to full. I don't feel like I could get full, full coverage from it, but you guys know that I'm more of a, you know, kind of light to medium coverage beauty. So it's enough for me. Um, it feels beautiful. I think you can, yeah, you can definitely see the illumination to it. I freaking love this one so, so much. Next up is the exact same thing, but this one is not the illuminating one, and this is in the shade Tan. This is what I used at the end of the summer, um, and I will open this one up and just kind of show you the difference in, like, the medium to the tan. Um, so this was kind of what I started off with, and then this is what I ended up with. Um, I feel like it's just as soft. You just obviously are not getting the um, illuminating properties as you do with this one, which you can clearly see that that one's definitely way more illuminating. Um, I love these. They work beautifully. They feel comfortable on the skin. I don't get itchy or anything from them. And also I don't ever get any flashback from them, which is kind of strange because a lot of times with SPF products, you do kind of get a weird white cast. Um, and it, you don't smell it. Yeah. I mean, it, it smells like nothing. Um, but I really love these and you guys, I preach about it cosmetics all the time. I've used this brand for many, many years. Now this one is actually considered their foundation. It is their it celebration foundation. This is in the shade light and this does say up to full coverage. Again, I don't feel like it's full coverage. Um, I also had the illuminating one of this, but I used the entire thing. Um, so now you can kind of see all three shades, like the light to the medium to the tan, and you can definitely see kind of the illuminating properties of the illuminating one. I would definitely say if you have oily skin, maybe stay away from this one. But for me, that is my preferred finish for their products. But I absolutely love them. Again, they're long wearing. Um, I, just, I love these a whole lot. These are definitely my like summertime things in the summertime because uh, it is so hot here and so muggy here. I prefer to just throw on a powder foundation and go about my day. Um, Laura Geller is another brand that I've used for several, several, several years. This is the Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation in the shade Medium. And it is a, oh my God, a cool baked product. Um, but I love this. Again, this one's really soft. This one I also feel like has a slight illuminating property to it. Hopefully it's picking up on camera. Um, but I love that there is a, you know, there's like a caramel color in here, a darker brown. You know what I mean? Like you can definitely kind of swirl it and then say if you're getting a little bit darker, maybe hit here a little bit more. If you want a little bit more warmth, you can kind of hit through here. Um, again, doesn't have a strong fragrance, lasts all day on the skin. I really love it and it doesn't make me itch or anything, which a lot of products will in the summertime when I begin to sweat. So that is another one of my go-to summer products. Um, this one you guys saw me pick up. I paid two bucks for this. <laughs> it is the Kat Von D. Love the Compact. The Locket Powder Foundation in Light 48. Um, I have obviously only used this twice since showing it to you guys, kind of the same, you know, build, the little compact, the mirror, and then the little, you know, puff underneath, um, but it is a shade light. It is super, 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 super soft. Like, I'm actually pretty amazed at how soft this powder is. Um, there's no illumination with this one, kind of how the way that this one is. Um, I cannot attest to how it works or how it lasts or kind of stays on, you know, summertime wise, because obviously I just got that, you know, after summertime. Um, I've used this a couple times just to set with, no irritation, no itching, nothing like that. Um, so yeah, I definitely have a lot of powder foundations. I know it's kind of overkill, but I prefer them, especially in the spring and summer months. This is all that I use pretty much, aside from like lighter BB creams as needed. 
So I'm going to slide these bad boys out of the way. And then speaking of lighter formulas or BB creams, I have my Mali. This is the Face Defender BB Cream Foundation with a SPF of 15. And I have the shade Medium Light. I'm going to swatch this on this hand. Um, that is what it looks like. And you can see that this has a little bit more cover, just kind of reminds me of the IT Cosmetics, like their CC cream, not quite as thick or quite as full coverage. Um, it does have a slight luminous kind of quality to it, which I really, really love. Um, it's beautiful. It looks nice on the skin. Um, it provides a little bit of luminosity. Of course, you have a little bit of SPF in it. So I really like this a whole lot. And yeah, I used this also or prefer to use this like spring and summer. I'm going to set her out of the way, and I lost my towel. It is on the floor. <laughs> BRB. Okay, I'm back. So that is the Mally one, and of course, I didn't like sheared out or blend it out or anything. And then, of course, <laughs> my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Light 7W. Um, you guys have seen me use this a lot. I will continue to use it a lot. I've used about that much out of here. Um, again, a lighter coverage, which I enjoy. You guys know that I like a lighter coverage. Um, it doesn't have quite as much coverage as you guys hopefully can see even with, you know, not even actually blending them out. Um, but you can see how much more luminous this one is and how much less coverage it is than the Mally one. But I, I love this stuff so much, you guys. It's just, it's an incredible, incredible product. I have really been enjoying this. It gives me just enough coverage that I feel comfortable. It hides the redness and stuff like that. Um, and it's not quite as thick or quite as full coverage as the Mally one is. I love both of them, but I've really, obviously, you guys know I've been using this now for a couple of months. So let's wipe those off. And we will go into kind of my standard foundations. Okay. <laughs> this is my foundations. I know to some people it may seem like a lot. To me, it's not. I see people with a million foundations. Um, first up is my Wet n Wild. I used this a lot for probably about three months. Um, it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Buff Bisque. Um, they are a cruelty-free brand. I do like that it ha If I could get it off. Well. Having technical difficulties, you guys. Okay, well, I took the whole damn thing off with it. My bad. Okay, here we go. Um, I do not like the applicator. I think it's crap. But um, the coverage is really nice. It also has a very strong scent to it. If you are sensitive to scent, I would not recommend this. Um, but it is like less than five bucks. Um, the coverage is really, really nice. I feel like it does not dry down too, too matte. Um, I have noticed that it does oxidize just slightly. This is what I will use when I'm slightly more warm than I am right now. Um, but the coverage is nice. It feels nice on the skin. It doesn't irritate my skin or anything like that. You don't have any flashback with this. Um, and you can definitely build this up. You can go from kind of medium to full coverage with it. And again, it's less than $5. Again, I will caution the applicator is trash. Um, and it does have a very strong kind of perfumed scent to it. So if you are sensitive to that, I would stay away from this particular product. But I really liked it. I used it for a very long time and I enjoyed it a whole lot. Next up, this used to be my holy grail. I probably need to like kind of revisit this. This is probably getting a little old, so I need to actually test this and make sure that it's still okay. But it is my Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. This is the shade Light. Um, glass component, really beautiful, nice frosted glass, and you have like the little pump here. So I'm going to shake her up, and you just kind of push a little pump, brings product up into here. This is also glass. I also do not like the applicator on this. I think it's trash. Um, <laughs> this one is more of like my kind of fally winter shade, but you can see that it's definitely a little bit more luminous, a little bit less coverage than what this one is. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell. That's why I'm trying to swatch these for y'all. This one will oxidize. I mean, it is already about a shade darker than it was when I first applied it. Um, this one does not oxidize. I don't feel like this one lasts as long on the skin, the Becca. Um, but you guys know I'm all about, you know, illuminating, hydrating, luminous, you know, formulas. And this is fucking stunning on the skin. Um, if you have oily skin, I would avoid this. 
and I will say that unless I set this really well or I'm really moisturized prior to it will settle and kind of like go into my creases and stuff like that um, aside from that I really love it and I love the fact that it's a little bit I get more coverage but it's a lighter feel on the skin if you will um, again you guys can see that this is really starting to settle down and kind of set and mattify and change in color this one doesn't mattify quite as much but it's not quite as luminous as it's showing on camera so let's wipe these bad boys off and we'll go to the next two this one is my avon true color flawless liquid foundation this also has an spf of 15. this is the shade natural beige again i'm going to shake it up nice beautiful this is around nine dollars between nine and twelve dollars um nice beautiful glass bottle again i love you guys this has a pump and it has a locking pump which i really really appreciate um, this is a little bit thicker of a formula and a little bit more full coverage than what the previous two were or are. You can kind of see it's a little bit more kind of moussey and a little bit more thick. This is very full coverage. It is absolutely stunning on the skin. Myself and my niece both use this particular foundation. Um, mine again was the shade Natural Beige. She is in the shade Earth and it looks stunning on her as well. Um, and this one, I don't feel like it is, it oxidizes or anything like that. It does have a strong perfumed scent. Again, the way that the Wet n Wild one does. So if you're very sensitive to scent, I would not recommend this particular one. But I will leave it here and just kind of let you see how it does dry down and settle down. And someone's knocking on my door, so hold on a moment. BRB! All right, sorry beauties. It is the weekend, so you guys know I tell, say this all the time that my house is full on the weekends. So we'll let this sit here while we go into the next one. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful coverage, you guys. Um, and I love the fact that it has the locking, you know, lid and stuff like that. It has a pump. There are some high-end foundations that don't even have this. So impressive. Um, the shade range could be better. They only have like 20-ish shades. But, I mean, I feel like for the price especially, you can't go wrong. Um, my other favorite, aside from my... Um, Pretty fresh is the Too Faced Born This Way. This is the shade Warm Nude. Whenever I do want more coverage, I don't want to go too full coverage, but I want it to still feel like skin. This is my baby. This is the one that I reach for, and I absolutely love this stuff a whole lot. Um, this has been kind of one of my holy grail ride or dies for a couple of years now. Um, I just love it. And you can see beautiful coverage. I mean, it's covering up my little age spots up here, which I don't know why they're called age spots because I've had them since I was like 14. Um, again, this one doesn't dry down too, too matte. Um, it's, I feel like this, the Born This Way is a cult classic type of a foundation. Um, but again, beautiful, beautiful coverage. I don't feel like this one oxidizes or anything like that on me. It doesn't, you know, give me any kind of irritation, no itching or anything like that. And it does last on the skin all day long i really love this one um this one doesn't have a heavy scent or anything like that in it either um no spf or anything like that and it is supposed to be undetectable medium to full coverage i do agree with that and it is oil free so i'm going to show you one more time those two and then we're going to wipe them off next up is a foundation that i don't even know why i still have because i don't like it um, it is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. This is the shade F7.5. I do love the component. I do love, you know, that they are cruelty free and stuff like that. I will shake this up also and show it to y'all. I like that this is a beautiful rose gold. Again, that nice kind of really cool like frosted glass. Very inexpensive as well. Um, I love, love the applicator. Love this doe foot a lot. Now I will say I loved the coverage of this. And it was beautiful on the skin. It did last all day. However, because my skin is so unbelievably dry, you guys, it just was way, way, way too dry for me. Um, maybe I kept it and maybe I was thinking I could really hydrate. But um, I did like the hydrating version of this a little bit better than this. Um, but it just it's not my favorite. I definitely think, though, if you have more oily skin, this would be stunning on you, you guys. They have a million shades, very inexpensive. And if you go through Ulta, um, you can also get like the Dubogo a lot or they'll have 40% off. And I mean, overall, it is a beautiful foundation on the skin. Um, it definitely blurs. It hides everything. It sits nicely on the skin. It's just very, very heavy and drying for like under my eyes um, or on my nose and stuff like that. I don't feel like it oxidizes or anything either. So I definitely say if you have dry skin, 
really hydrate and stuff like that first and maybe kind of don't set it with powder. I don't know. Um, but if you have oily skin, I think that this would be A++ for you. Another one of my old school OGs is the Tarte Shape Tape, the Hydrating Foundation. This is in the shade Light Medium Sand. I know a lot of people did not like this. I love it. I loved it a whole lot and used it a lot when I first got this. This, of course, is a more wintertime shade. Um, again, really beautiful coverage, but it gives a slightest little bit of luminosity. Um, doesn't itch, doesn't irritate my skin or anything like that. This does have a slight scent to it, nothing that's overly, you know, perfumed, nothing that's too, too heavy, but the finish of it is absolutely stunning. Again, if you have oily skin, I cannot attest to how this would wear on your skin. Maybe if you set it down, you'd be okay, um, but it doesn't oxidize, and it just, for me, for my skin personally, it looks absolutely stunning on my skin, and I really, really enjoy this a lot. I love the applicator as well. I love the bottle. It feels like it's nicely made. Um... I definitely feel like these are kind of similar in regard to how they sit on the skin, um, how they look, how they blur, how they last, but of course this one is much more hydrating. So I will wipe these two, give you one final look. I'm going to have to wash my makeup towel now. <laughs> and then I will do these two and then my one stick foundation. This is the one that we got in our Ipsy and I kind of only tried it one time on half my face. It is the Lock Color Lock It Good Boundation BB Cream with Foundation. Jeez, that's a lot. And this is in the shade Light Buff. Excuse me, my alarm's going off. Sorry about that, beauties. Okay, um, this one is really nice. Again, I should put this with BB Creams. Um, this is really, really nice on the skin. It felt really nice. It blended out beautifully. Um, again, a little bit more kind of light to medium coverage, and it does offer a slight little bit of dew or luminosity. Um, the day that I did put it on half my face, I felt like it wore well. Um, you know, everything else I cannot attest to, you know, staying power. It didn't oxidize or anything like that. But again, this would be probably something that I would use more with like my Mally and my Pretty Fresh like in the summertime. Um, but I really like it. I enjoy it a whole lot. Next up, shake her up. This is the little Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation. And this was the shade, I cannot read that, Desert Beige it looks like. Um, this was just a little tiny sample that I did on my first um, impressions video. I have to say, other than it feeling a little dry on my skin, this is freaking stunning, you guys. Like, I lo 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 loved the coverage of this. This would definitely be something, if you are a full coverage beauty, I think that you would really like this. Again, it doesn't have a really heavy scent or anything like that. I didn't feel like it oxidized or anything, and it is stunning on the skin. For me, it was slightly drying, but I have that issue. I mean, I have dry skin, you guys. There's nothing a company can do about that for me. Um, but yeah, I really love this, and I definitely, I don't think I would repurchase this. Obviously, right now, I have a lot of foundations, but it would be something that I would, you know, I will continue to use this particular one and use it up. But I think it's really beautiful on the skin. It just is a little bit too drying for me. And then last but not least is my little ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick in the shade Light 40N. Um, I have not always had the best of luck with foundation sticks. This one is just okay. Um, <laughs> it is definitely really beautiful coverage. I feel like it just feels a little thick and a little cakey for me and can dry my skin out. That is kind of why I don't really go for foundation sticks. Um, but when I do use this, I like to use a really, really tight, I'll show it to you, this little dew color brush right here. Um, I always use like the little kabuki brushes. This one is very small, very short, and very, very tightly compact. So I will use this and kind of buff this out just like so. And it tends to blend in just a little bit better, but it is a little bit too drying on the skin. Although I will say the coverage and stuff is beautiful. doesn't have a heavy scent, doesn't make me itch, and the staying power is there. So that is it for the foundations. Um, I'm trying to see. Yeah, I might do the concealers. I don't have a whole lot of concealers. So we're going to jump into the concealers very, very quickly. That is all my foundations. And then concealer-wise, we only have a few. <laughs> I kind of am a little bit of a stuck-up person when it comes to concealers because I pretty much always have used the Tarte, um, and then I've recently fallen in love with the Urban Decay Naked Skin. So this is on my little concealers, not a whole lot. 
Um, I, I literally just did this one in the video that you guys have seen, like a video before this, I believe. Um, it is the Pretty Fresh by ColourPop, the Hyaluronic Cre Creamy Concealer. I only used it one time in my first impressions of it. Wasn't really a fan because I felt like it was creasing and stuff like that, but it may have also been the powder. Um, I did not. It says full coverage, and um, this is okay. I like a thicker, like fatter type of doe foot, not these like more flat ones, um, but it is okay. It I would call it more medium coverage, medium to kind of buildable, maybe up to full coverage. Um, they are a cruelty-free brand. It didn't irritate my skin or anything like that. It did last all day. Of course, I had used powder in that same video um, to set it, but yeah, not not my favorite. Not gonna lie. Next up is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. This is the shade C5. This is another one that I'm just, it's, it was okay. I love the doe foot. I love the applicator a whole lot. Um, definitely feel like it is slightly more full coverage than what the ColourPop one is. Um, it blends out really, really beautifully. It just wasn't my favorite. I didn't feel like it stayed in place, and I felt like it creased just a little bit on my skin. Um, it would be something that I would still continue to use. It's just not my favorite. Next up, let me shake it up, <laughs> is my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is the shade Fair 08. This one is very, very light, as you guys can see. I will use this just very sparingly underneath my eyes when I just need extra coverage and I want to really brighten the under eye. Now this one by ColourPop, I love, 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 love. I also will use this one when I'm prepping my lids. This one is a true full coverage, budge proof, does not move. I really, really love this concealer. It's probably my third favorite, I'm gonna say. But full coverage, um, stays in place. I didn't feel like it creased or anything like that, and I've used it quite a bit. I should have shown you before I shook it up, but um, I have this one, and I also have the plain white one for doing like cut creases and stuff like that, but I love this one, and it's like six bucks. Next up is my Morphe. This is the shade C2.35. Um, again, very inexpensive don't really care for this type of applicator. I don't really like these little flat ones. I like the big doe foot ones. <laughs> um, you can see this one is more actually my skin tone. And this one, again, I really like it. It's nice and full coverage, blends out beautifully. It's nice and soft on the skin. I don't feel like it creases or anything like that. Um, very long wearing and it doesn't oxidize or anything. So I really enjoy this one. You guys can obviously see that I have the range in my concealers from like lightest to darkest. Um, of course, I get very, very tan in the summertime and then get slightly, obviously, more fair skinned in the wintertime. Next up is the, or new to me, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless um, Complete Coverage Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. Um, this is also becoming one of my favorites. This is probably number two. Again, I don't really care for that applicator. It's okay. Not my favorite. This one is also another one that I do just more illuminating and brightening of the under eye. Very nice coverage on this. Not too heavy, not too cakey. Um, it's not super over drying or anything like that on me. And it, I love this one. I really, really do. I think this is definitely number two for me. And then my Holy Grail. This is probably my third or fourth shape tape, I'm pretty sure. But it's the shape tape in the shade Light Sand. Um, I First and foremost, I love the doe foot. I just, I love these humongous doe foot, you know, applicators. Um, but very, very full coverage. I know, and it's odd because I do have such dry skin. I know a lot of people that battle with dry skin do not like this and say that it settles and it creases and, you know, settles in fine lines and wrinkles. I do not find that. Now, I will not use this on my brows or typically on my eyelids because it will crease and it does kind of settle. But if I use it under my eyes and I set one eye at a time, I cannot do both eyes because it will start to dry way too fast and then I can't blend it out. But beautiful coverage, doesn't have a strong scent, doesn't oxidize or anything like that, and it lasts all day. It is freaking bulletproof. But, of course, I will make sure I moisturize well. I use a very little bit of concealer. I feel like especially as we mature and we age, less is mo, okay? Um, but I will do one eye. I will pat it out either with my fingers and then finish blending with a beauty blender, or I'll use a soft diffusing brush or just a dry beauty blender. I press one eye out and then do the next eye. So you can see those. I definitely, the Tarte Shape Tape, this one, color, well, okay, these are my top. 
for sure. But the tart shape tape and these two are probably my top, 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 top. Um, this one is okay. This one I didn't really care for, but I don't know if it was from this or the fact that I also put powder on that day. So that is it. I hope that you guys are enjoying. So sorry about all the noise. Um, hope you guys are enjoying my Durismus. And yeah, I don't feel like I have, you know, a million trillion foundations and concealers. I feel like I have everything that I need. Um, of course, you know, throughout the year, I have my summer shades, my kind of fall winter shades. I have some high end. I have some drugstore, um, you know, ones that kind of perform differently, you know, some that are a little bit more or less full coverage. But yeah, that is my foundation slash concealer collection. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do at all, then please consider subscribing. I would love to have you be part of my beauty family. And I hope you guys are already enjoying Durismus. If you would like to see anything, um, then please let me know. I am here to, you know, do things that you guys want me to do. I want to keep you guys here, keep you guys entertained and all that kind of stuff. I'm sorry if my energy level is a little bit down. Um, I am still really tired from the holiday, so you have to forgive me on that. And I also feel like I maybe am getting sick again, which really effing sucks. But that is it. That is my foundation slash concealer um, collection. And I hope that you guys like this. And thank you so much for watching. Be your own best beautiful. Bye!